Well, what's going on, guys? So, um, I just uh, uploaded a couple of videos, and I have another one that's coming from one day. <laughs> one day that I was uh, shopping in, in, in Whole Foods, which was on Sunday. Um, the video with the guy with the red shirt and the gray hair, it was, uh, it was about six men in Whole Foods that day that had come in purposefully to monitor me. Um, it was very crowded. It's always crowded in that Whole Foods, so um, I don't do a lot of recording when I go in there, but this time, you know, I, I, I did it because they were, they were so sloppy with their, with their stalking you know, unusually sloppy. <laughs> and, uh, so, and, and they were, it was just bizarre. It was, it was more bizarre than usual. So I, you know, decided to go ahead and, and record. Um, the guy that was chasing me in the parking lot, that, that's something that I haven't had to my understanding or remembrance in a while, in a very long while, if ever. And uh, it was just very, very bizarre uh, Sunday. I get that kind of treatment when I go into to Whole Foods because they have a, a large variety of, of healthy foods if you wanna if you wanna say they're healthy. They're all pretty much <laughs> in the same boat, but um, I get that very aggressive, you know, bullying type of uh, harassment and um, again I took pictures of some uh, some of the perps because I just don't have a lot of storage if I if I recorded everybody and everything that happened to me that's related to gang stalking I wouldn't have any storage at all and I'd have like a thousand or two thousand SD cards <laughs> but I wanted to say to 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 my viewers uh, that there may be some videos that may where it appears that that person is just standing around or that person is just looking at their phones or that person is just, you know, being and I'm stalking them or I'm watching them. Understand that I don't have a body cam and I don't go around with my camera on 24 seven because I just don't have the storage for that. So what happens is this person will, for instance, like the guy that was chasing me in the parking lot. I didn't get a chance to get him running up on the opposite end of me because I'm not looking for these retards. I'm not looking for these psychos. I'm like trying to make sure that I catch the bus. So I'm trying to, you know, get to the bus stop. And this weirdo is like stalking and chasing me up the, the parking lot. So then I take my phone out and I record him because I want to document his face and the environment that this took place in because he is indeed guilty of a criminal act, stalking. And I know because I'm a part of the situation, I'm the one suffering from it, that he is either a rapist, he is either uh, someone who has tried to poison my food, he is someone that has invaded my space, he is violating laws. And I don't do these videos for my leisure. I do them so that these people can be brought to justice at some point. I don't care if they were solicited just to come in and bump into my car to, to distract me. I'm gonna get their face so that when the hammer drops, cause it's going to drop, it's already dropping in my case. Everybody that participated in the gang stalking and this criminal act against me will be brought to justice. That is my goal. And that is the only goal that I have. And the only reason why I take the time to focus on these sick, blood-sucking vampires. So again, I do apologize that for those of you who are just clicking on and you're seeing my videos and you're thinking that, oh, this person is innocent. Unfortunately, you didn't see what happened before I took out the camera, before I took out my phone. But that is 
it for me that is neither here nor there all i know is that i've caught you stalking me i'm gonna document you um again when i'm going to a restaurant i'm trying to make sure that i'm watching my person because these people in my gang stalking are aggressive as hell I'm trying to make sure they're not taking things out of my cart, swapping them out for something that they have gotten and had a chance to uh, contaminate. I've got to have my head on a swivel. And then on top of that, I'm, I'm just looking at the product that I'm trying to purchase. So it's it's a job going out, trying to purchase things, you know, and trying to eat, trying to survive, trying to try, just trying to live. Because again, like I said, you know, when I go in these places where there's a variety of healthy foods, they are so angry. They do not, because they don't want me to be healthy. They don't want me to look healthy. They don't want me to be healthy on the inside or the outside. So anything that's going to help me or contribute to me doing that, they're going to have a problem with. So just know that if you see somebody in these videos and it looks like they're just they're just innocent they're just standing around know that they're not just three minutes later they were doing something criminal 